time now to go for gold for the final time on Compound Saturday here in Antalya at the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. It's the Compound Men's Final. Let's go and meet the contenders. So here we go, Chef. I'm really excited about this one. The first time, st first time stage winner is going to be announced today, but these two have never won a stage. In fact, neither of them have taken a medal at a World Cup stage individually. Have you got a feeling for who might take this? Um, I think Sawyer Sullivan was more convincing in the semi-finals, but uh, Joseph Bosanski uh, likes the pictures of my dog on my Instagram, so I'd have to favor him. Plugging your Instagram again. Start of the gold medal match here in the compound men's individual competition, and Sawyer Sullivan, the 19-year-old from the USA, begins hitting the middle of the target. Off to a blazing start again, both of them. Um, the sun has just like it's it's now fully out, and you can see, looking at the spirit level, it's super bright. So that might have a little bit of an effect on the on the aiming because you need to look over the spirit level. Um, I think Joseph has a bit of a sunshade on his uh, on his scope, so he might be less affected by it, but. Um, the wind is not the only circumstance that can change because we've seen cloudy, we've seen sunny. Uh, if the, the light circumstances change, that will also alter your view on the target. Um, so that's another thing that we, uh, like it's difficult to see the difference for, for, for here, but for them it makes a huge difference. Sure, because as the sun moves, of course, shadows change position and that then uh, has a bigger effect when you're standing 50 meters away from a target you're trying to hit. Yeah, that too, yeah. Impressive start from uh, Sullivan, but he did drop a point. Zansky, 46 years young, has put himself already in a position to claim his first ever stage win here in Antalya. just seems in a great place at the moment yeah I think he is uh, he is properly enjoying himself right now um, he's nervous you can you can spot that he's a bit nervous but I mean who wouldn't be in their first uh, World Cup final or World Cup stage final um, I mean Sawyer is also nervous uh, judging by just how he reacts to that last arrow um, so yeah it's it's interesting to see who is gonna pull through here and number two, Sullivan going first. Yep. Gets it into the middle of the target. So they're, they're in different stages of their archery career, but also in different stages of their life, obviously. Uh, Joseph is two and a half times as old as uh, Sawyer is. Um, but it's interesting, yep. Sawyer is just coming up, he he went through the whole uh, junior stage and then uh, is now coming into the, the senior scene. Um, Joseph has started on the senior scene, has been around, has been shooting quite well for the last couple of years, but never really broke through. And now he finally has a chance to prove that he's also worth it and that he's also um, a contender. Yep. <laughs> So that 30 sets the benchmark of 59. Bozanski, though, still perfect. 
and stays perfect with another X and another 30 and uh, 60 points. He's, he's on some cracking form. He won the gold medal at the European Grand Prix in uh, in Lillishaw as, as the warm-up for this. He did, yeah, yeah. So it's a, a continent, continental competition rather than a, a world stage, but but still you need to go through a lot of good archers to get through that uh, to that point. Um, and just a win in general is always a good confidence boost. So he is uh, showing what he's worth right now, and I'm, I'm yeah, it's cool to see. Yeah, looking very composed, very relaxed, and clearly very happy with the place he's in with his form yeah with his form but also i think he's just uh he seems grateful to be on the final stage i think he is soaking it all up and and he's enjoying his time there uh rather than being there uh tunnel vision i need to win this uh, so there's a bit of a bit of a difference uh in in how they look at this i think yeah so sullivan to some extent has to block all of that out and just shoot the best arrows he can this is his first opportunity uh on a podium range. He's made it through to the gold medal match. He is trailing, but only by one point because he's only dropped one point and Bazanski has been perfect so far. Time for end number three. Yep. Time for It's also interesting to hear the difference in coaching, where yep. Joseph is uh, seemingly being coached silently, <laughs> um, whereas uh, Chris is coaching Sawyer through his oh. shot. He's he's continuously talking him through the shot. First drop point for Bozanski. Next two arrows could be telling. It's quite long. Drops another point for a 29 and an 88. Bozanski back on the shooting line. Puts it back into the middle of the target, so. Regains his lead. Yeah, recovers that. Uh, point loss because uh, Sullivan went and did the same thing so just a single point in it how I know what you're gonna say but I'm gonna ask a question anyway. how much does that one nine affect Bozanski um, it might uh, <laughs> contrary to popular belief it might make it easier for him because he doesn't have to chase that perfect score anymore um, so now he's still leading by a point because Sawyer also dropped one um, but now he cannot shoot the perfect score he, he doesn't have to think about like oh I can shoot the perfect score on the finals venue so it might make it a bit easier for him interesting but, uh, but a solid point yeah the pressure of going for the perfect score is you can see the reaction there from Joseph Bozanski to that nine. Not hiding his emotions. No, I mean, why would you? It's been working so far for him. So despite dropping a point, not perfect anymore, Bozanski, but still holds a one-point lead as we go into end number four. Right first, it's the American Sawyer Sullivan. So it, it like m metaphorically, it almost seems like uh, Sawyer is taking little sprints. Uh, he's like yep. shooting an arrow, putting all of it into his uh, his his arrow, and then taking a bit of rest, taking a bit of time, and then going all in again. Whereas Joseph, he seems to be jogging throughout the whole match. He's like, he's just <laughs> shooting and, and he's at a, like a level of nervousness that doesn't really change that much. It's interesting to see the different dynamics going on here. Yep. Well, will it be a case of slow and steady wins the race? Or is 
Sullivan's approach of these mini sprints going to work out for him. Both shooting perfect scores again. So the standard has not dropped by any level at all. And uh, Bozanski there giving himself a, a little bit of a pat on the shoulder. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was a... Well done, yeah, me. Well done, yeah, me. If, if it was a well done or you're OK. <laughs> Affirmative in one way or another, I'm sure. He's looking very relaxed, but yeah. great analogy using of these sort of mini sprints from uh, Sullivan, whereas it's a yeah, constant jog. Different intensity uh, between the two of them. But this is the gr another great thing about archery. What works for you ain't going to work for me necessarily. Yeah, that's uh, it's a very personal sport, and uh, in archery you get the room to be to, to be personal. If you're doing a team sport, you kind of have to fit within the team rather than uh, you know, doing your own thing. In archery, you start as an individual and then later on you get to do the team stuff as well. Uh, but you have to adapt to the team for the team event and for the rest, you're doing your own thing. Um, if your own thing works, then your teammates are going to allow you to do your own thing within the team as well as you would allow them. Yeah, to so a certain degree, obviously. Oh, to a certain degree, of course. Yeah, uh, You have to work together, of course, uh, being the major difference. Here, though, really not much in it at all. You'd rather be in Joseph Pozanski's shoes, the Slovakian leading by a single point with each archer, having three arrows left in this gold medal match. Winner books their prize at the grand finale. I can tell you this much, Kareem. I have a similar level of intensity going on here <laughs> as the guys on the field. I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat. It's absolutely enthralling, isn't it? They really have sent yep. the bar high, the compound archers here in Antalya. Just can't call this quite yet, but Zansky one ten away from his first title. Yep. Sullivan goes perfect again to finish with a 148, dropping just two points. But it does mean Bozanski has a 10 for the win. And he puts it into the 10. And look at that finish, three X's from the Slovakian, Joseph Bozanski. You can see how happy he is finishing there with a 149 and his first ever World Cup stage medal is golden.